Blair who'd taken the corner. Shelton. Blair again. Made in a, something of a hurry by Shelton, but it almost made something for Chapman. Now was Marwood brought down by Steve Sutton? He was. Eighteen minutes gone. Forest protest. It was just a little stab ball up in the air by Gary Shelton, but Chapman made something of it. Marwood was in pursuit and was a judge there to have been brought down by the goalkeeper. Mel Sterland had six successful penalties last season for Sheffield Wednesday and one for the England under-21s. And for a spot of gamesmanship, there's a booking for Steve Hodge, who was slow to go outside the area. It's lasted some 19 minutes, and he takes the penalty, and he scores in splendid style. A marvellous start for Sheffield Wednesday. The goalkeeper palpably deceived but the drama is not yet over because Neil Midgley has ruled presumably that there was encroachment and Sterland must now go through the ordeal a second time Neil Midgley the referee very much the center of this episode having awarded the penalty then booked Hodge and now retaken for Sterling same technique same result and this time it certainly does count and delight is now mingled with relief Sutton hadn't learned the lesson Sterling's nerve held lovely control from Christie matched by the turn and the pass for Davenport Hodges committed himself, there's a real chance for Davenport. It's his goal, but it was superbly set up by Trevor Christie. And significantly, Christie gets his share of the congratulations, and then from Davenport, the scorer as well. On the near post for Forrest. Beaten to it by Shirtlift. It's a long way for Ferrari to go. He's not the type of player to be short on confidence in this sort of situation. Still Verratti. Brilliantly done. He certainly didn't lack the confidence. Forrest had the corner. And Peter Shirtliff headed it away to Imre Verratti. With some 70 yards to go. And Forrest, of course, with defenders like Paul Hart, forward at the original set piece. Those who were left backed off, Ferrari went on and buried it in the corner. Chapman and Marwood is allowed to go on onside. And Pearson! He could hardly believe it. It virtually hit him and went in. Hart and Sutton let the ball go. And Marwood provided the cross.